Welcome back to the channel everybody. It is mighty wicked with that sun shining right on me. It's very warm in here. I have the back door open. We only have one door open just letting it vent naturally. It is pretty darn warm. We're sitting about 85 degrees in the top. Sitting about 80 degrees down here where I'm sitting in the greenhouse. We're sitting about 35, 36 degrees outside on a fully sunny day but we've got about 50 mile an hour winds. 45, 50. It is just ripping out there and it's shaking the greenhouse a bit. But today we're discussing solar solar thermal mass and the thermodynamic properties of a pigment on a material. Obviously all the same material. I have three homemade bricks here. We've been making a ton of bricks lately on the channel. If you haven't checked those videos out, they're pretty interesting. We found it very neat to be able to make our own bricks here. So what do we do? We want to paint our bricks. We've got our own paint solution. We've shared this a few times. DIY natural pigments and paints and they last. They're pretty waterproof. They're all around pretty durable and best of all they are free we're making our own free paint now if all that sounds interesting please consider subscribing to the channel I don't want to overcomplicate this we're only talking about light versus dark in its purest form so we're going to take these bricks and I have three bricks up here and we're going to see what terracotta the natural brick color absorbs what a dark brick and what a light brick all absorb for thermal energy. Over a little bit of time here, we're going to make this paint, paint these bricks, and then we're gonna let the sun dry them up in the greenhouse right here. So we're down here at the table. I wanna show everybody and cover what we're using for free paint, free pigment here. This is our pigment, the regular charcoal or biochar that we make ourselves out of the fire. Got ourselves some regular wood ash here. We just sifted through that to get any chunks out and this is fully burnt up. There is not a whole lot of LOIs or loss on ignitions in there. It's for the most part just strictly ash. The next thing I've got here is four egg yolks. So we take our egg yolks and you sift out the whites and when you separate these you'll be able to beat these together and we're going to mix these in and that is going to be our actual paint. This is really only two to three ingredients. We've got our egg yolks, we've got pigment and then you can add a little bit of water to basically make it a better paste if you find you're adding too much pigment in there. So we got to use our free DIY earth tones or our earth pigments to be able to paint these and it's a nice solid paint. It might be a little tacky but this is after about an hour and we're seeing a big difference in temperatures. We're still sitting at about 81, 82 degrees on our gray or white brick. This is going to dry a little bit lighter but this is about as good as it gets. And then on our black brick we're seeing 90, 91. I saw 92 but I only clocked 91 on here. So that is about a 10 degree difference already. And typically between light and dark surfaces you're going to see a difference of about 10 to 15 degrees normally. So that's about spot on for about an hour's worth of time and I conducted this inside the greenhouse because that's where they're going to be. That's where you're going to use your thermal mass. Now this one black brick isn't going to make a whole lot of difference in a greenhouse but if you scale it up and you've got a wall of small thermal mass bricks that are all working together and soaking that sun up through pigment or pigmentation, darker pigment, that can make a very good thermal mass and using free paint and free bricks. These were completely free. Everything we used was absolutely free. So the actual terracotta was in the middle. It was about 85 to 87 degrees and then it started to drop down as the sun's going down here and losing its potency. So I really wanted to share a easy way to get some darker pigment for free 
and it actually works pretty darn good. This is a good base layer for paint. I mean, it seals it. These bricks are waterproof. Bricks are already sealed and waterproof when we actually turn them into bricks. If you haven't checked that video out, check that one out to see how these are actually refined enough that they can withstand water. We soaked them in water for 20 minutes. Nothing happened to them. Nothing fell apart. And I had to have them waterproof so I could actually use them in the greenhouse because the high humidity in here would destroy a non-fired brick. So being able to use all of these inside the greenhouse for different reasons, different thermal capacities, or just for a building block. So this is just one more cheap, easy way to achieve your goals. If you're looking to make some DIY bricks or looking to make some DIY paint that actually holds up and is non-toxic, natural for the environment. So I'd like to thank everybody. I just wanted to make an experiment out of all of this. If I was going to do it, I wanted to do it and show everybody. So I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Thanks to all the subscribers. And if you got any questions, on this drop it in the comments below and I will see you guys next time